All right, YouTube, this is Chris here. Um, and if you're watching this, you're probably having issues with overcooling of your, your motor. Um, and by overcooling, I mean taking 45 minutes, 30 minutes, you know, whatever, an extended amount of time for your truck to heat up. And of course, you, in my case, not everybody else's case, my case, my heat would get hot really quick. Everything would get warm. I mean, even my my top radiator hose, everything. I could I could sit there and watch uh, watch my fan cycle. I could watch my lower radiator, and I can watch my thermostat. You know, open and close, and it just wasn't getting up to temperature. Which, for all you automatic guys, if you're like me, that means no overdrive on the freeway. So. Anyway, so after replacing thermostat, replacing that three times, replacing um, the uh, EC the ECT sensor, which is uh, of course notorious on these things, and then also cleaning out my uh, my throttle plate probably four or five times, and of course uh, failing smog once because of course with these it doesn't uh, doesn't allow you to go into closed loop with your coolant being less than operating temperature. So anyways, I finally got fed up and pulled off the, the sensor rail, which goes back here. And lo and behold, I'm pulling off, I, when I was pulling off the, uh, the U that goes down to the, ra uh, to the actual coolant rail that goes up underneath here, um, I pulled off this, which of course was brittle as heck. But I pull that off and I find this. This is completely clogged with rust, which means, I mean, in layman's terms, because this is connected to the top of your block and goes into your cooling system, and then this cycles through. So your, your water goes in here, circu uh, circulates through all your sensors to actually turn them on or off, and then comes out here. Well, right here was completely clogged. I mean, I filled up the bottom here with water and just let it sit upside down and waiting, waited for it to uh, drain out, and it didn't happen. So, um, after cleaning this out, we'll see what happens, and I'll update this uh, video here in a few minutes. Alright, so this is going to be the, uh, the part right here. It's kind of going to be an interesting way for me to hold this camera, but here you go. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some water in the top it's completely full so you can see that's ah, completely full and as you can see this beast right here not even budging and obviously the top is very is completely full so there should be at least some water coming out of there let's put some more in there nothing so here you go I'll clean her out and see what's happening all right so I just finished putting some pipe thinners pipe cleaners through there also some guitar strings and then a shit ton of compressed air and now here's the uh, test right here this is really hard to do with one hand in the camera but look at that now Time to go ahead and give her a test. All right, YouTube, so I did exactly what I was talking about. Went through, cleaned, uh, cleaned up that rear rear thing, and it, my, my truck's been running for about five minutes now. Well, my timer on it is going, and look at there. Ho oh, ho, already, all the way back up to, to middle way in five minutes, and I haven't been able to get it up there for probably six months and it's probably taken about an hour to an hour and a half to do it. My heat is hot again. I can feel it here, feel it here, of course. Both are warm. And yeah, I think that took care of my, my deal. Hope this helps one of you guys out. 